We're taking a live look now at Cape Canaveral in Florida. Boeing is attempting to send two astronauts into space aboard its Starline spacecraft. Getting ready for that is a key moment for the long delayed project as the aerospace giant tries to redeem its tarnished image. Here's Faith Abube with more. This morning, the Boeing Starliner spacecraft set to blast off on its first ever crewed mission after years of delays. And lift off the rise of Starliner. The historic mission, plagued by software glitches and fuel valves and parachute problems. The most recent launch attempt scrubbed last month, just two hours from liftoff due to a sticky valve. And now NASA and Boeing defending their decision to move forward with another launch attempt today, even with the helium leak in the service module of the spacecraft. Had this occurred in flight, we would have had a unexplained anomaly coming home. We'd have built that same fall tree, so I'm very com confident we would have caught this. Astronaut Mike Fink will pilot the next Starliner mission if this test flight is a success. Which is a fancy way to say, hey, let's test the thing and make sure that it meets all the requirements, and if it doesn't, let's go fix them. The launch is a critical part of NASA's commercial crew program. Boeing hoping the Starliner can be an alternative to the SpaceX Crew Dragon, which carries astronauts back and forth to the International Space Station. If today's mission goes well, the Starliner will be certified as part of that program. Commander Butch Wilmore and pilot Sunita Williams, both experienced astronauts and veteran Navy pilots, ready to launch the capsule into orbit. We're absolutely confident in all aspects. We don't expect things to go wrong, but we, we know that we are going to be fine because we have this backup capability.